Hello friends, today we are going to study about finding all the zeros of a polynomial or here a cubic polynomial is given to you. So when two zeros are given to you, when two zeros are given to you and a cubic polynomial is given, we can find the other zeros. First of all, we should know how many zeros we will get here. Two they had given and we know it is cubic polynomial so when highest degree is 3 so how much degree in highest degree means highest power that much zeros we will get so here we will get three zeros two zeros they had given to us we want only one zero so how we will get one zero first we have to use the, this two zero and we have to form a quadratic equation how we are having one formula x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta by using this we can form a quadratic equation or quadratic polynomial with the help of these two zeros one is alpha one is beta we will put it in this x square minus minus root 2 plus root 2 into x plus minus root 2 into root 2 so uh, this will get cancelled and 0 x so x square and this minus plus minus and root 2 into root 2 2 so here we are getting this quadratic polynomial now we have to divide it here I am going to divide it x cube plus 3x square minus 2x minus 6 here cubic they had given to us if they had given us by quadratic then we will get four zeros in that also we have to use the same method then we have to divide now here in my quotient only I will get that one zero but when there is by quadratic we will get two zeros in quotient so here in quotient we will get a quadratic again we have to do splitting the middle term and find two zeros in that case here now we will divide x square minus two so x cube so x square multiply with x gives you x cube so x into x square gives you x cube now x into minus 2 minus 2x now sign change sign change cancel cancel 3x square minus 6 again now x square is there so we are going to multiply with only plus 3 plus 3 into x square gives you 3x square plus 3 into minus 2 plus minus minus and 3 2 is 6 again sign chain sign chain yes obviously every time you will get remainder 0 if you are not getting remainder 0 means you had you had done some mistake in this now here I got quotient x plus 3 is equal to 0 so x will be minus 3 so my third 0 is minus 3 so here 2 they had given and 1 and we had fine if it was a bi quadratic then here we will get a quadratic polynomial then we have to do splitting the middle term and find the other two zeros so this way we can find the zeros of the polynomial when two zeros are given thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel thank you so much